Agent Camarena, welcome to Guadalajara. Thank you, sir. E.T. sat down with Michael Peña and Diego Luna to talk about the upcoming season of Netflix hit drama Narcos. So I don't think this is the fourth season. I think this is the, like uh, 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 a new beginning, going with a complete new cast, new story, new country. It even looks different. The fourth season moves the action to 1980s Mexico, telling the story of undercover DEA agent Kiki Camarena and Mexican drug lord Miguel Felix Gallardo. Who's that guy? Miguel Felix Gallardo. The Rockefeller of marijuana. And bust his ass? Mm -hmm. So you are playing a real person. Kiki died in 1985, but did you feel pressure to really get him right? Of course, yeah, because I spoke to his wife, Mika Camarena. What was that like? You know, she, she gave me the impression that she was a very strong woman and that she supported him all the way, and she's the one who told me that he was the kind of guy that just, you know, had to do something about it, and if not, he would just stay up, it would keep him up at night. Okay. I had to do a lot of research. There was a lot of information for me, and uh, I had to stop one day and say, "Okay, this is it. Uh, uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my own interpretation of this." For me, the most important thing was to recreate that Mexico, the Mexico of the '80s, the Mexico I saw as a kid. Did you hear these stories when you were growing up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when the Kiki Camarena case happened, I was more focused in the World Cup, I have to accept. Yeah. I was six years old. But I, uh, around 88, I started to, to wake up. So going back to those days, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, and telling this story matters because to understand the present, we, we have to take a look at the past and, and see what went wrong. And to yeah, raise the question, you know, like how much are we all involved in this? Yeah. That's important. Your character is a dad, yeah. you're a dad. How did being a dad in real life kind of shape the way you approach this role? Well, you know what inherently it makes you more cautious. Uh, you know, like I, even the way that I drive now <laughs> is a little more cautious. Like if he's in the, in the car, like I'm definitely more cautious when I'm not. I'm like, I'll kick it up to 35. Yeah. I'm not afraid. Uh, Daredevil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm crazy. I'll drink a, a Coke instead of a Diet Coke. Yeah. Hey, live Dude, wild. I'll keep, I'll keep going all night. You don't want any part of this. <laughs> no, um, but you get the feeling of, of potential loss, you know, mm -hmm. like you don't want, you don't want your kids to grow up without a, a parent, you know? Yeah. And so you kind of take that into consideration whenever you're close to danger or whatnot, and that's what I would think of uh, when I was playing certain, you know, certain parts and certain scenes, is that, you know, think of, think of the big picture and is it worth it.